Well, uh, I'd like to start today's uh, press briefing. Thank you for coming for uh, uh, today's briefing at the sh such a short notice. My name is Masaru Sato, and uh, I'm Assistant Press Secretary at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Today, I'd like to uh, give you some updates uh, on two issues. One, uh, uh, APEC, uh, 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 and also uh, the other uh, on Takeshima. And uh, about two weeks ago, uh, I uh, was here uh, explaining the position of Japan on Takeshima. And uh, since then, uh, there are some developments. So I'd like to explain uh, them uh, briefly. And uh, you can refer to the uh, first uh, document, which I distributed, titled uh, Position of Japan on Takeshima. I will mainly talk about uh, new elements in the paper, because uh, some of them are already explained at the last briefing. Last uh, week, uh, uh, Thursday, August uh, 30th, uh, uh, Republic of Korea uh, informed us with a note of about that uh, it did not accept our proposal to bring the issue of Takeshima sovereignty before International Court of Justice. And uh, immediately after that, actually, we have been uh, uh, requesting, urging the Republic of Korean government to accept our proposal in good faith uh, because uh, we believe that uh, this is a territorial issue and uh, this should be dealt with uh, as such uh, within the realm of the territorial issues, utilizing the uh, International Court of Justice mechanism. So we are uh, disappointed and uh, it is uh, very regrettable that uh, Korea uh, did not uh, uh, make any counter proposal in reply. And. Uh, The government of Japan uh, uh, will continue to uh, take appropriate measures with a view to settling the issue of this issue uh, in accordance with international law in a calm and amicable way, including uh, uh, such measures as the uh, unilateral submission of the case of this dispute to the ICJ. This is going to be the first time uh, for Japan in this case. And uh, secondly, I'd like to uh, explain our stance on the uh, Korean uh, assertion to uh, link the Takeshima sovereignty issue with the so-called uh, uh, issue of uh, history. It appears that the Republic of Korea uh, is trying to associate the Takeshima issue with the issue of understanding of history. I mean the history as related to the Japanese colonization of the uh, Korean Peninsula in the past and other uh, related uh, development at that time. But in our view, uh, it is not appropriate to discuss the Takeshima issue in the context of uh, historical issues because uh, the two issues are completely different matters. The uh, Japanese government's decision uh, in 1905 to incorporate Takeshima into Shimane Prefecture at that time, this is uh, 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 you know, uh, the action was taken to reaffirm, not uh, affirming for the first time, Japan's claim on the sovereignty. The reason is that uh, during the early period of the Edo era, which is about uh, the mid 17th century, uh, Takeshima uh, was uh, being utilized by town people of Yonago, its old town, uh, in Totori clan, uh, who were engaged in catching uh, uh, abalones and the sea lions 
uh, under the license issued by the shogunate government at that time. So this is a copy of the uh, uh, permission given by the uh, shogunate government to uh, the uh, townspeople of Yonago to carry out fishing activities near Takishima. And uh, also, I'd like to refer to some uh, historical, uh, additional historical facts, uh, which I didn't have a chance to explain at the last meeting. Uh, Korean appears to uh, assert that uh, it has a long history of control of Takishima, dating uh, far back to the sixth century. And uh, according to our uh, survey, uh, there is uh, some reference to this uh, position paper. Uh, page three, the uh, number one, uh, under the title two, there is no evidence that the ROK has long recognized the existence of Takushima. Uh, here is one document uh, translated as History of the Three Kingdoms, published in 1145, and uh, we have studied this uh, document, and uh, uh, although uh, Korean, uh, uh, Korean people uh, believe that there, uh, there was an uh, island called Usan Island, um, but uh, there was no uh, mention about the island called Usan in this uh, Three histories of uh, the three histories of the uh, history of the three kingdoms, and also uh, there was no. Uh, uh, I explained the the, uh, the last time that the uh, there was a location issue. In the uh, in uh, one map which was published in 16th century, uh, there was a uh, 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 you know. Uh, in this map, uh, Usan Island, which is what the Republic of Korea claims to be present-day Takishima. If you look at this map, is located west of uh, Utsuryu Island. But actually, the uh, Usan Island, uh, the present-day present uh, Takishima, is located east of uh, Utsuryu Island. This is what I explained at the last time, but uh, in addition to this point, there is another point which I would like to make. Uh, that is, according to uh, uh, some do, uh, old documents uh, published in Korea. Uh, there are some descriptions of Usan Island, which uh, says that the, the uh, Usan Island is uh, has uh, many uh, people uh, living on the island, and also uh, that uh, uh, a lot of uh, bamboos uh, thrive on the island. But uh, this actually contradicts the realities of the present day uh, Takishima, uh, but rather uh, reminds us of the uh, living condition on Utsuryu Island. So if you know the uh, details of the geography, uh, or you have a chance to uh, visit the island, you can uh, uh, check with your eyes what, uh, what I have just uh, described to you. So these are uh, additional points I'd like to introduce to you uh, as a fact. And also, uh, mm. yes, the last point I'd like to make is that the uh, 
we uh, explained the, our cabinet decision in 1905, and also the, uh, uh, I explained uh, last time that the, uh, the process uh, which took place during the uh, drafting of the San Francisco Peace Treaty, which established uh, uh, regional order after the World War II in the, Pacific, uh, in the Asia Pacific region. And also, uh, I also mentioned that uh, the designation of Takeshima as a bombing range for US forces in Japan in 1952. These uh, historical facts and international law uh, uh, you know, lead us to uh, uh, assert that uh, Takeshima is an inherent territory of Japan. And uh, however, uh, despite these uh, uh, historical facts and international law, in 1952, uh, Republic of Korea uh, unilaterally proclaimed an artificial boundary, uh, which it called the uh, Shinmanri Line, to declare its marine sovereignty over the vast waters inside the line, as wide as 200 nautical miles in some parts, which was uh, in clear contravention of international law at the time. The line encompassed, encompassed uh, Takeshima inside, and since then, the ROK uh, has been illegally occupying until today. And uh, I'd like to note that uh, during the 13 years after the Shinmanri line was installed up, up until it was abolished by the conclusion of the Japan ROK fishery agreement in 1965, many Japanese fishing boats were seized, and many Japanese fishing people were detained, causing heavy casualties. I have some information uh, under the note so you can uh, uh, easily understand the, the, uh, uh, the context in terms of international law of the, uh, uh, this uh, Shinmanri line. So, uh, so this is very uh, the fact that uh, they uh, refused our proposal last Thursday is very regrettable and. Uh, it is very di disappointing, but however, we would like to once again urge the Republic of Korea to uh, deal with the territorial issue within the realm of the territorial dispute settlement mechanism, uh, uh, which is uh, International Court of Justice mechanism. So this is uh, about uh, 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 what I just, just wanted to uh, tell you about uh, updates for Takeshima. And uh, secondly, I'd like to briefly explain the uh, position of Japan on the upcoming APEC summit, with particular uh, emphasis on the ministerial me level meeting. Uh, Foreign Minister Gemba, Koichiro Gemba, just announced a while ago that uh, he will uh, attend the ministerial meeting for APEC, uh, 24th round of APEC in Vladivostok from today until uh, Thursday, uh, from September 4th through uh, 6th. And uh, uh, APEC, as you may uh, fr be fully aware, that this is a, a regional economic uh, uh, integration initiative uh, that Japan has been uh, taking the leadership since its uh, foundation. And this is a very good fora where uh, regional trade and investment uh, will be uh, promoted uh, by uh, participation of economies for uh, further uh, prosperity in the region. And uh, uh, Foreign Minister Gemba will attend. Uh, uh, we believe that uh, this uh, AP APEC uh, ministerial meeting is a very important uh, uh, occasion to, direct to hold uh, direct uh, uh, you know, talks among uh, ministers uh, for uh, uh, the settlement of uh, region-wide common challenges. 
and in order to uh, establish uh, uh, open and market-based uh, trade and uh, investment uh, system in the Asia-Pacific region. And uh, this year, uh, Russia, as a uh, presidency of APEC, uh, 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 we understand, we'll take up the uh, issues, following issues. First, uh, 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 strengthening uh, the food security. Se secondary, the uh, uh, enhancing preparedness for, uh, to deal with emergencies. And uh, uh, third, uh, uh, to support the uh, multilateral trading system. And fourth, uh, regional economic integration. Uh, and also trade and investment liberalization. And the fifth, uh, reliable uh, uh, establishment of reliable supply chains. And sixth, uh, uh, close co uh, co cooperation uh, toward the uh, uh, promotion of innovation. And uh, last year, if you remember, uh, 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 at the uh, APEC in Honolulu, uh, the summit uh, of economies agreed uh, to uh, work through the uh, environmentally uh, environmental goods and services. And uh, uh, we are hoping that uh, this year's summit will uh, achieve concrete uh, uh, results, including the uh, uh, list of, uh, you know, compiling a list of uh, environmental goods and uh, services, which will be uh, subject to tariff reduction by 2015. And uh, this is going to be a very good uh, 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 result toward uh, further promotion of uh, economic growth and regional economic integration. And uh, Foreign Minister Gemba, uh, together with uh, Meti Minister Edono, uh, will uh, intend to uh, proactively participate in the dis discussion. So I will stop here. And uh, if you have any questions related to these two topics, please raise your hand and identify yourself. <laughs>